Hello, this is Bren Antrim, one of the librarians here at the Santa Monica College Library. Today we're going to be doing a short database tour of advanced features on the Business Source database. In order to get to the library from the Santa Monica College homepage, there are a couple of ways to do it. One way is to mouse over Student Support, click on Library, and that will take you directly to the library homepage. The other way from the Santa Monica College homepage, the short URL is just slash library. Once you're there, you'll notice a variety of resources available to you and a lot of information also available to you, including this YouTube channel and Ask a Librarian where you can get help if you need when you're doing your research. In order to find a specific database, in this case Business Source, you click on the Databases button. They are broken down by topic. All databases is a list of everything we currently subscribe to with a short description of what's in each database. Ebooks are databases that are primarily ebooks or have significant ebook content. Then it's broken down by topic. And today, because we're looking for business, we head into the business resources. This only has a listing of those databases that are specific to this topic or significantly include information on this topic. This is not an alphabetical order. This has the business databases first and then the general topic or the general databases that include business topics listed alphabetically after. Business Source Elite is our primary business database, so we click there first. If you are off campus at this time, it will require you to log in and you log in with the name part of your SMC email and the password that you picked. If you just wanted to select um, a particular topic and search for journal articles, you could do that here. But this database has much more. And the two things that we're going to look at today are a publication search and company profiles. The first thing we're going to do is a publication search. Say your instructor has directed you toward a specific um, publication, and you want to know, do we have that? You head into publications, and your search changes. You can browse, or you can search either alphabetically by title, by a description of it, or by any words in that title if you know you have some of it, but not all of it. So say, for example, I want a journal that I know is called something Harvard Review. So if I just type in Harvard Review, and I say match any words, it will bring up any database subset, which could be a specific journal or a group of journals that include that. And as I scroll through here, I might say, oh, this is the one my instructor was talking about. So I click on the title of that, and it will tell me information about it and allow me to search within it. So for example, if I'm looking for the Harvard Business Review, it will tell me that while it has information about that journal going all the way back to 1922, it has the actual articles themselves from 1985 to now. Full text means you can get the whole article. Okay. Then if you have a volume and issue that you're looking for specifically, say I'm looking for something that was published at the beginning of 2022, you can click on that year over here under All Issues and Articles, and it will bring up specific volumes and issues. So if your instructor has said, you know, I want you to look in the March issue of Harvard Business Review to find this article, you can go in there, click on that issue, and it will give you all of the articles that were published in that issue. If you instead you want to search within that publication, so you know you need to use this publication, but you don't know what specific volume or issue it's in, right up here, right above the details about it, you can search within this publication. So leave this alone because you want to make sure that your search remains in this journal. And on the next issue, or on, I'm sorry, on the next line, you might add your art entrepreneur oh man spelling not my thing and it's saying that's not spelled right 
So I'm going to say CEOs instead. Search term alternation, a good thing when you can't spell French English words. So when I search that, I want to be sure before I search it that full text is limited because I want to get information from articles, not just information about articles. Okay. Then I search it out and it will tell me within this particular um, article, uh, article listing from this journal, there are 57 articles on women CEOs and there are 90 journal articles and they go all the way back to 1986. So maybe I want something a little more current. I can change this date limiter. It will gray out when it's updating and give me only the more current ones. If I get stuck at any time, I can always chat with a librarian without losing my search, without leaving the database. Once I find something that I like, I click on it. It gives me information about the article, an abstract or short description of the article. It allows me to get just the text with none of the graphics, or it allows me to look at a PDF, which is essentially the same as if you were looking at it in print. From there, you can add it to your Google Drive, print it, email it, save it. I recommend emailing articles as you come to them that you like for a couple of reasons. One, if it's in your email, you can find it. The other is it gives you citation help. So say, for example, I'm going to use the APA citation in this class. I can say, give me APA. When it sends this to me, the PDF will be attached as a separate attachment to the article. So I'll actually get the article. And all of this information will be included in my email along with a robot's attempt at an APA citation. So make sure that you fix that before you put it in your paper. Then I can send it to myself. Do not send in plain text format. You don't want to lose your um, formatting. I took off the HTML full text because it's redundant if I'm also getting the PDF and I don't need it to read to be readable in a text only version. Then I send it off. And that tells me, yay, that has been sent. So that's one way you can use Business Source. I head back to my result list and I can look for more results or I can create a new search. The other way that you can use Business Source Elite is via company profiles. A company profile allows you to search by a specific company. These are all publicly held companies. If it's a privately held company and is not required to um, fulfill certain federal government regulations, it may not have a report in this listing. Once I find my company, it gives me a variety of information on it, including a market line report. The market line report is extremely useful if you want to look for things um, that are specific to this company, for example, say I want to look at um, the key employees, or I want to take a look at the SWOT analysis, the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. I can go directly to that, and it will tell me the information that I need for my analysis. The other thing it allows you to do when you click on the company title is it allows you to look for related information that has this company as a subject term in academic journals or research journals, trade publications, which are publications written for and by a specific industry, and magazines that have information for the general public. And that search looks just like the one that we just did. When you click on it, it will search for Apple Link and it will bring up a list of all of the journal articles. It tells you here it's in a journal article, it's in full text. And then once you're here, you can click on the title and email it to yourself just like you did with the other one. If you have any questions at any time, you can chat with a librarian here. And also, you can ask a librarian on the Santa Monica College 
library homepage. Be well.